Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. Act the fool, girl. I'm here. Act the fool. So today we are here to discuss something that I had actually said I was never going to discuss again, but I'm going to do so because this man has finally met the right one. Nico, what do you mean? <laughs> Before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash aesthetics for more exclusive lives, weekly videos, and be a part of the podcast, which airs every Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Nico, I'm not I'm not in Texas anymore. <laughs> so I have to remember that. But now that that's done, if you can't support on Patreon and if podcasts aren't your thing, just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel and it really helps with the algorithm. But now that we've gotten that all done, let's get on to the actual topic. So Grayling Purnell. Nico, who is Grayling Purnell? He is a 40-something year old man who lives in Los Angeles, California. That's public knowledge. And he tends to target slash date minors and teenagers. Nico, I don't have to say allegedly, he confirmed it on a live stream on Big O because bitches get on Big O and disclose illegal activity that they do. <laughs> they disclose illegal activities that they do because they're trying to get engagement and trying to seem popular and edgy and... It makes no sense to me that y'all continue to support him via views and streams and funds to his OnlyFans after it came out that he slept with a 17-year-old. Nico, 17 is age of consent in many states. First and foremost, it's not in many states. Secondly, it's not in California. Nico, it's 17 is not the age of consent in California. So no matter how y'all try to spend it, that man committed a crime. That's statutory. That's... Look it up. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I'm tired of y'all trying to defend people that actively take advantage of younger people sexually because they are inexperienced and don't know any better and or red flags. But at this point, anyone that's getting into a relationship with him that is in their 20s should know better. Should know better. It's kind of like the R. Kelly situation where in 2023... The women that still actively pursued him, the 30-year-old women, I might add that, because a lot of them were older as time went on. You knew what you was getting into because this person has an open reputation. So with Graylene Purnell, he had gotten into a new relationship with a 22-year-old. And I didn't cover it because he's gone from 19, he's gone from 18... He's gone to et cetera, et cetera, just keeping it in that 17 to 23 year old box frame, because that's when young people are usually the most impressionable trying to break into adulthood. Because like he said in this live stream, his boyfriend, Jamal, I think, I think that's his name, Jamal, because the loud person <laughs> that was doing a split screen with them was yelling too much in the conversation for me to actually focus on names so so he was basically saying that his new partner wanted to get famous and that because of him he got clout around him and the entire conversation was just exceedingly demeaning and disrespectful to his alleged partner who he also made get his name tattooed on the side of his face and across his chest no. Listen, listen. If I tell my nigga to do something, he don't do it. What are you that talking about? So what, I, so what I didn't do? What are you talking about? Didn't I tell you not to talk to no faggies online? If H is just hey, me, shut I keep talking to If I tell you not to talk to What? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, BJ. Biting. Yeah, I keep telling you he addressed me. I told you don't talk to that nigga, right? It don't matter. I'm not going to let nobody address me. What did I say? What did I say, bro? I'm just saying, my brother ain't just me. Man, like, swing on that motherfucking nigga, man. Stop playing, dog. Like, swing on me if you want to. Swing on me if you want to. I dare you. I dare you. Why do you keep getting in my face? Like, you trying to you swing too. on you? Because I'm not using. So get in my face. Tell me you'll never swing on your so nigga. So get in my face. I'm in your face. Tell me you'll never swing on your nigga. Tell him now, Molly. You want to be single? 
Huh? You keep saying that. Do you want to be single? Let me know what's up. Cause we won't have to go back and forth. You want Nobody's to gonna make a part where you said what I said. Who you belong to? You well that had nothing. Are you sure? Are you sure? Cause you're not acting like you belong to me. How? You act like you belong to them. How? Because they ask you stuff on social media. They not ask me nothing. Am I paying attention to them? Can I talk? I'm listening. I'm who you sleep with every night. I'm who who name is on your chest. And where they had to keep for a second, so baby. Continue. I'm, okay. I'm listening. Can continue. I see your face? They already saw. It. I'm listening. Continue. Baby, you still baby. have yet. You have yet to listen to like what I'm saying. This thing. I'm not everything you're saying. You're not. You're not. You're not. He wants you to apologize, Grayson, because you're violating him online. You're not listening to. Go ahead. I'm gonna talk. Go ahead. I'm Mr. Perno. This is. Mr. Mr. Perno. They see me. Don't no, touch me. I don't, hey, hey, I, don't don't the, I don't want to be in the camera right now. You won't be on the camera. But I don't want to be. He's touching me, y'all. Uh, I don't like that. So, no, are you Mr. Right Perno? Right Mr. Mr. Perno? You need a second in command, right? No, I'm touching Yes, I am, but I don't want to be in the hey, camera. Hey, I got a question. Are you second in command? Yes. Who first in command? What that mean? Who? I'm your nigga. Who first in command? Yeah, you everybody know that. I'm no, I want you to. Why do you keep asking me the same question? I keep asking, you ask me the same question like five different times in a different like, I, in I, a different I, word, and I answer the same way every time. I'm so. Hey, hey, hey. Move them hands. Cause like, move you ask me, you hey, ask hey, me bro. the same thing five move different times. Move them hands. Move hands, okay. Move like, them hands. Bro, did, did he not ask me the same thing care, five different man. times I mean, in the same move, way? Get your space. Move that bitch. Move that bitch. Like, that's what I'm. Get your space. Bro, check your big ass up, bitch. I mean, yeah, man. Who just that, up? Hey, you, you pushing your Because, like, but I didn't already said it five different times. I don't know how many times. Like, ask them. Did I talk this whole time? Who been talking? Me or him? He talked for his No, time. be quiet. Me or him? Who talked this whole time? Me or him? bite the fuck out of him. Yeah. Rosa, me or him? Him. Him. Because you keep saying I've been talking this whole time. I haven't. You've been talking this whole time. Hold on, wait. It's, it's a grown ass nigga from Baltimore. You're not going to treat him like no so kid. Tough. Thank you, like what? Rosie, you better shut up, bitch. I'm his alpha. Who your alpha? Who your husband? That have nothing to who do with husband, that have nothing to do with that have nothing to do with anything. I already said that. You keep saying who like that has nothing to do with husband. Who your husband? That, who, your husband? That, who your husband, bro? You, but that had nothing right. to do with I'm anything. I'm his husband, so it don't you matter. You're not listening. That's the thing. That's how long you're not listening. You keep saying exactly. That had nothing to do with anything. Look at that, bro. I'm this nigga husband. So what I say goes, he got second in command. Yeah, but, but husbands don't bite husbands but on the face. You just tell me this the hookah up, did you not? They don't got nothing to do with me, that's with you. This you I don't want the hookah. You I actually, want the hookah. I don't. You Baby. wanted it set up. You asked me. Yeah, I hate hookah. Okay, so let's You literally me. told me to set the hookah hey, can, up. Can you stop yelling? I'm not yelling. Can, can you listen to me, please? I'm listening. Okay. Well, babe, who on you? Hmm? I'm not answering that again. Baby, who on you? You I'm not answering that. You want me to say you on him. Say, that again. You want me saying? You, I didn't say like seven, di- like eight, so ten what? different times. Who you belong to? You. I'm not saying it again. Who you belong to? Huh? Who oh, you she belong to? She wanna fight. She's trying to antagonize you because she wanna fight. Yeah, like you see it. She's like literally like what? She wanna fight. She wanna fight. You call me a she? I'm not. Did, did, not, I, did I just call you a she? Or nobody called you. No, so why would you no, think I'm antagonizing you? And I it? literally said ten different times during my like. I literally keep saying my bad. It's this thing. I literally keep saying it ten different. Don't do that to me again, bro. I literally keep saying ten different times. You keep asking the same don't different question like ten hand different hand. ways. Can you stop doing that? Don't bite. So you want me to get? You don't have to keep threatening him, Grant. Like you're not gonna yeah, threaten him. Yeah, you keep your hands on him. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try you again. Cool. So we single then? You single, bro? Huh? You said you you said I you single. Just tell him you, you his roommate. Just tell him you his roommate. Yeah, you, yeah, y'all single. Tell you me. his roommate. He your roommate. Bitch. You my roommate. I never said that. Are you? That's what. You, that's what he's giving. I never said that. What I say? Who what? owns you? Who own you though? What I already said. Who own you? What I already said. Who own you? Don't back up. Okay, cool. Who own you? What I already said. I don't know. I want to hear it again. Who own you? You want to keep hearing how many times? Yeah, as many times as I, I already said you. Who? Who not near you? Who the fuck else? Who who, who else? Who who else? You tell me. You no, tell you me. tell me. Since you want to know, you tell me. Braylon for now. Okay then. So, so you know so that. So you tell me Braylon for now. That then you. Sing who gave him the hit? Sing. Bro, we sing. Hold on, Braylon. You gotta first of all, that boy just. Hold on a second. That boy just put his two weeks notice in there because you promised him a whole motherfucking new life and all these shits. And he get there, you start beating on his ass. Are you single? Ma think he wanna be so popular on here, so Ma told him you cool with that. No, 
It's what thirteen. Are you it's one point thirteen people in here, Mo. What are you talking about? Who's trying to be popular? I was already. What are you talking about? So tell them you popular. What are you talking about? So tell them. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So I'm telling y'all, Mo. What are you talking about? You, you had got to say what are you talking about? I'm telling one point twelve about? people now that you saying. Okay, can Mo tell us what happened? What transpired? This. Can Ma tell us what transpired? Because Ma is Ma wanted to be on social media and he wanted to be this lit nigga. So tell him how you want to be lit by yourself. Now you single, Ma. Tell him how you sing. All right, cool. I'm gonna tell y'all how he sing, y'all. Y'all just oh my god, you was choking him. Fuck Ma, bro. Mike. I was never choking him, bro. Okay. That's a whole lot. <laughs> I keep talking to If I tell you not to talk, what? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fuck Ma, bro. That just saw a dumbass nigga be saying there's 1,400 people in here. So what comes with being single? Graylin don't have no control over him. Not fuck these niggas. He can fuck whoever he wanna fuck. He can get slutted out by whoever he wanna get slutted out. He can go on OnlyFans by whoever he wanna be on OnlyFans with. Anybody he wanna let fuck him, he can fuck him, bro. I'm cool with him. I'm not fucking him no more. We good. But y'all can still be together though. We not together no more. We single. Right, Ma? This boy got your name tattooed twice on him. That don't mean nothing, bro. That don't mean nothing. Oh. Ma, can you tell can you come tell him it don't mean nothing? Huh? He actually he actually does care about you. He's trying to hold himself from not knocking the dog shot. Bitch, I'll beat the shit out of him, bro. He ain't think about it. He already know I'll beat him up. So, like, he not thinking about that. And, like, I'm not that last one to get you talking about. I'll beat the shit out of him, bro. And you ain't gonna see us on here together no more. He gonna be by himself. Like, he got... He got girlfriends in You can call your girlfriends in the morning, more. Huh? And if he don't, then we gonna get a third nigga. I'm gonna get a second boyfriend, so it's fine with that. So, <laughs> Molly, yeah, Rosa, Ma Sosa, that bitch. He makes every young adult that he targets get his name tattooed on them like a piece of cattle. Nico, yes, every single time he makes them get grayling across their body somewhere, sometimes on the butt, mostly on the face, now across the chest. And it's just very disheartening that so many people are being branded by this predator. And the conversation in itself was disturbing because you could tell he was trying to assert ownership. He was trying to demean him. He was trying to belittle him. And eventually his boyfriend finally snapped on him. Nico, yeah, Jamal, I think that's his name, finally showed Grayling, you do not mess with people like that. Because he kept, at first he was trying to playfully go back and forth with it. But eventually he was like, I already said it. Why do you keep telling me to say vocally that you own me, that I belong to you, that, that I'm basically your property? And I'm glad that he finally spoke up for himself because it was just hard to watch the amount of gaslighting that he was putting this 22-year-old through. And eventually, it came to the point where Grayling was like, he ain't gonna do nothing. I beat his ass. I whoop his ass. And Grayling met the right one. How about that? Yeah, bitch! He wanted a 30. Molly, get that bitch! Grab that bitch hair! Put it back up. Get off me. Get off me. Hey, you got your 30. You good. You got your 30. Nah, you good. It's done. You got your 30. Put it back up, bro. Here we go because I had to cover in the last situation where he put his hands on that 18 year old flung him around the kitchen and then threw him out of his apartment and told his friend to end the live. This time it was caught on camera and Jamal whooped his ass. Nick, Jamal whooped his ass. And I'm rarely, <laughs> I'm rarely one of those people that's like, you should put your hands on somebody. But it's the fact that Graylin was taunting him, getting in his face like he was a stranger on the street because he did not want to continue to submit to ownership to him. Because Grayling was sitting here saying, I'm his alpha, I'm his alpha. 
Bitch, you are 120 pounds while soaking wet. What about that is alpha? Just because you are old enough to be his father does not mean you own that boy. Secondly, when the fight was over, because I, I put in the audio just now, you will not be able to see the actual fight on my channel because I'm not getting demonetized for Grayling Cornell. <laughs> when he came back on screen, Grayling was bloody nose, braids messed up, shirts are torn, Jamal walking around scot-free. He didn't really get hit that hard. So he was shown that as an alpha, you can't fight. You can't back up what you're saying. You're just a lot of mouth. And as soon as he got whipped on live stream, he said, here, cut it off. Cut it off. You got to get out of my house now. You got to go. You ain't going to sit up here. And that's exactly what happened with the last boy. The last boy, he was tossed out the house and told, you got to get up out of my house because he actually spoke up against Grayling and said something that Grayling did not like. The fact that Jamal whipped him in his own kitchen on Big O Live with thousands of people watching and now it's recorded, he ended that relationship immediately. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Tell me you heard. He good. He good. Oh, good. I'm yeah, fine. fine. I'm fine. fine. He Tell loves you. Show. He still loves you. You still. He's. You. He's still number two. I'm not you his the nigga, king. He's number two. I'm not his nigga no more. That's I'm not are. his nigga no more. No, I'm not. I'm somebody else, nigga. Tell him go ahead. Get him with like no, back to body. He's not leaving. He's not leaving. Get me fucked, brother. He not. Bro, he probably not. think he's trying to play back to body more. Brother, go nigga. take a shower and go get ready to get you some pussy. No, we not fucking nothing. Yes, you are. You said you want 30. You got your 30. Man, this nigga good, bro. We good. This nigga is good. He did not look like a man. I know. I know. Go now you know you got a soldier on your side. Now you know you got a soldier on your side. You just now can't. You, you got a soldier. Then, Rosa, then he got to tell me. He said I was panicked. Yeah, he said he's on a 30. I was panicked. Listen, you baby, Go get a shower. You good. Molly, just. I was panicked the whole time. Molly, get off of me. Go in the shower. I literally was I literally was Paying it. I was paying it. So pay it and go to Vegas. I was paying it all night long. I was paying all night long. Y'all been all night long. I've been paying it all night long, bro. Pack your shit up and go. Pack your shit up and go. Pack your shit up and get the fuck out of my shit. Oh, he ain't got to go, go nowhere. Go pack them up and get the fuck out of here. He ain't got to go, go nowhere. Go. You asked for authority. You got your authority. <laughs> now go fuck. Now fucking shit. He about to get the fuck out. Like we good, we both we both in a good place or whatever. We got our little one off or whatever. We're gonna handle your shit. I'm gonna handle mine. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Period. Fuck out of here. Come on, you all. Pack your shit. Pack your shit. Who? Oh, you? Not packing nothing, bro. Not packing nothing, bro. You got my hand. Not packing nothing, bro. Tell me. Just go. Tell me. Get my go. I'm begging nothing, bro. Bro, go. So you can get the fuck out of here, bro. No, he come good. On. I'm not the case right now. Can you talk bro, about go. So come on, so you can get the fuck out of my shit. Let's go. Pack your shit. Let's go. Brandon, go clean up you so y'all can go lay down. Brandon, bro. Any shit that can be good. No, I'm saying? You, you go, get, go get in the go. shower. Like, clean your face. No, go he need to go, bro. He need to go. He good. He got the people he, got the people he from LA. This is not it, bro. He go good. ahead. Get your shit out of my shit, bro. No, he good. He gonna go play the game. Go play the game. Go sit and go play the game. Fire break it, bro. Come on, fire break it. So can you get your shit and go ahead? If I break it. Well, if you break the game, you gonna have to break the TV. Well, he going to jail. Either one, either both of us gonna go to jail. One that's going well, to jail. both of y'all gonna go. His record clean. This your second attempt. Cool. This your second domestic cool. violence on case. That's fine. But let's let's think smart. Go go take a That's shower. Fine. That's fine. That's fine, Jamal. How are we gonna handle this? Gonna go take go a shower and go lay down. Huh? You're not huh? Going, you're not going nowhere, baby. Take a shower and go get ready for bed. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna block him on everything, and then y'all handle y'all want to handle. That's shit. cool. He ain't going nowhere. He gonna be there tonight. Okay. You good, Marty? Go get go get in the shower. You good? Okay. Bro, he literally caught all this being drunk, bro. I no. just want y'all to know this. Like, he caught all this being drunk. Like, all this caused because of him, bro. Being drunk. Literally. True. Being fucking drunk. And then you gotta ask some other motherfuckers. No, you got yourself in the You came at me saying shit to 60. Bro, how many times? Bro. How many times did you say shit to 60? I gave you what you want. You said how many times shit to 60? Cool. Cool. It was really supposed to be a 30, but, oh, yeah, you did a 60. 
You got the best coach in town. I was in the back like. Just go, 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 go to somebody else's house, bro. Go ahead and say fuck me. Go to somebody else's house. Nobody. Go get in the shower, Molly. Get, go, go get in the shower. You good? My earring, bro. She don't know how to fuck with you no more, bitch. <laughs> Where's my earring, bro? So go tell him by your flight. Get the fuck you out keep of saying tell somebody about me outside. Like, like, don't touch my shit. Thank you, biggest, for the five dollars. Put my seat in the comments. Get the fuck out of here. Go. Like, what are you waiting for? They gonna get your flight. Go ahead, go back to the Not gonna squeeze of the juice. Don't don't shit up. Go. What are you mad about? Thank you, Trizzy. No, Thank you, Roy. What are you mad about? Go fuck somebody else. Man, you sorry. You can't tell me what I'm mad about. I don't care. You don't care about what? You don't care about what? You don't care You're mad about what? You came at. You gotta come at. No, 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 listen, listen. Put this, bro, put this get in your head. Get I don't fucking get in my face. So get on my shit. Put this in your head. You so came at me. Out, bro. You came at me. So get the fuck out. Ten different times. He not this dirty. Well. So go. Shoot this dirty. Go. Shoot this dirty. Go, bro. Get your dumb ass on. I'm not getting off your face. You're not I'm not getting off your face. Fuck off. Yeah, this. So you want to go to? You want to go to the police? No. You not going to the police. Don't hear that. Call the police. No. He not calling the police. Call the police. Go on my shit. He not calling the police. He not calling the police. He's not calling. Go call somebody else house. Go with somebody else. Mike, why? That's. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doc. I'm direct. He's not going nowhere. He's going. He's going to go lay down. Girl, fuck you. Cause you don't have to outcome the man. Who? Who? Go with somebody else. Bro, you don't get my shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. So go. He's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. He's home. He's not going nowhere. Go down home, bro. Cool. So, bro. Jamal, get out my shit and we'll He's not up. fighting you no more. He's not fighting you no more, Graylin. He's not fighting you no more. Okay, so when I put my secret one, if you don't get out where I'm fucking you up, I'm literally fucking you up, bro. He's not fighting you no more, Graylin. Okay. Jamal, come on. Let me see. Get your Graylin, it ain't no round two. It ain't no round two. You got your third. Bro, you gonna get fucked up if you don't get my shit, bro. You should still get out. He's not leaving, okay. Graylin. He's not leaving. Okay. Jamal, cool. don't put your shoes on. You already proved your cool. point. So Y'all about to see me fuck him up. Y'all about to see me fuck this nigga up, bro. Graylin, you already got your 30. Last time. Last time. Last time, bro. Come on, Jamal. Jamal, on. you don't have to go to where you don't have to fight Jamal, him you coming at me. Come on, I'm not going to continue. Get your shit and get out of my shit. Get your shit and get out of my shit, bro. You don't want to leave. Get your shit and get out of my shit. Graven, man, go ahead. I don't want to fight you, bro. Get your shit and get out of my shit. Graven, you don't want to fight. You already gave you a third. So get out of my shit. Graven, he already got your third. Get out of my shit. Why you upset? Get your shit and get out. Why you doing that for? Why you upset? Bro, get your shit and get out. Why you upset? Because I don't want to shit my shit no more. For what? Cause I don't like you. So get out of my shit and go. He don't like that he asked me to shoot the 60. So go. So go. Get out of my shit. He don't like me. After he asked me. Stop yelling in my shit. Bro, stop yelling in my shit. Bro, stop yelling in my shit. 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 Because at first in the video, as you saw, he was sitting here talking about, we Mr. and Mr. Purnell, right? We marry, right? We we all this, we that. Now he like, I'm single. It's done. I'm tired of it. But what I also want to say before I finish this off, the bitch that was screaming in these videos, I don't understand it. Because you can see these people are clearly fighting. You can see these people are clearly going at it physically. Like this is a very serious and tumultuous situation that you're about to see play out on camera. The fact that you're instigating it and screaming and telling that boy, just go take a shower, stay there. You ain't going nowhere. It's like... I understand being loud and ignorant is a part of the big old franchise, and that's how you continue to rope people in, but it was just so grating to my ears, trying to actually see what was happening, and this bitch is screaming the entire time, to the point that I can't even hear the people that's supposed to be speaking, talking. But that's just me. I don't like that kind of instigating and screaming. <laughs> I don't like loud noises. But back to the actual topic, I hope that Jamal, I think that's your name, I hope that you get 
to a safe place. I hope that you get back home safely. Do not stay with that man. I doubt he's going to keep you around, especially because you whooped his ass online. He deserved it, but I doubt it because of his ego. So if you can, try to get those tattoos removed. I understand that sounds expensive. I understand it's a lot harder to do than just saying, but at the end of the day, being branded by somebody who is a known predator, I want y'all to want better. Um, virality, clout, quote unquote money, because <laughs> like he said in the in the video, Grayling had promised a better life and to be taken care of if he came out there. And now that he's out there, it's a struggle. <laughs> it's a struggle. And that's another thing that I want y'all to understand. All that glitters is not gold. A lot of these social media people, a lot of these OnlyFans performers, it's all smoke and mirrors. Grayling, for example, he is saying that he's so famous and he's a famous designer and he walks New York Fashion Week and he he has so much money. And yet when he was making that makeout video with his last boyfriend, you saw a dirty mattress with no sheets on it in their bedroom. I don't even think it was a full mat. I think it was an air mattress, right? Comment down below if you saw that video where they're making out and then they got dragged because you had a fucking air mattress in your apartment and you're sitting here talking about you have so much money and you taking care of these boys. At the end of the day, at most, you are probably paying your rent and they're staying under the roof with you. And I want people to understand that. Do not get into a tumultuous situation thinking you're about to be promised riches and a new fame and new life because this man in general is a laughing stock. Even the big old circuit, I'm not necessarily big into that because it's all messy. But at the same time, at the same time, all they do is dog him. <laughs> all they do is dog walk him on live for like 40 minutes straight. And then he walks off because he quote unquote made money from it. I don't know. I just feel like the embarrassment, the abuse, the manipulation, getting that nigga's name tattooed on your body is not worth it. Me personally. I already know this video is not going to be monetized, but I'm still going to edit out the fights just because it's, I don't want to strike. <laughs> but yes, definitely drop your opinions down below because I caught this all live when Big O Recap posted it and I was just disgusted by the levels of gaslighting that I saw for seven minutes straight. Like, I thought it was going to be a cute little two minute video. Bitch, it just kept going and going and going. So once again, you're about to get a long, probably 30 minute video. And I definitely want to hear your opinions down below. How do you feel about people that are still getting involved with Grayling Purnell after we've seen continuously that he targets teenagers, that he targets young adults that are inexperienced, and then he just uses and discards them as soon as he's tired of dealing with someone who is finally learning agency? And that's what it really boils down to, because he will find these impressionable young men that want fame, that want money, that want to be known, and he will get his name tattooed on them. He will have super happy adult fun time with them on his only fans and then he will cast them back into the street branded with nowhere to go but yes how do you feel about jamal dog walking grayling pernell leaving him bloodied and bruised on live stream nico normally i don't condone violence but when it comes to a predator i'm like baby you had to come in <laughs> and that's the thing i want him to understand grayling a message to you just because somebody is younger and smaller than you because he only targets people that are extremely young and twinky because he feels like he can boss them and swing them around. Just because they are smaller than you and younger does not mean they can't beat you. Especially because you're 40 something years old, bitch. Like you going after young cats and expecting to be able to talk to them crazy, get in their face, put your hands in their face, swing on them, push them, and they not dog walk you? Like you're genuinely lucky that this is the first time that this has happened. And I'm glad that it was caught on camera. I'm glad that it was caught on camera. Because you deserve to be put in your place for what you're doing to these young people. You are a terrible individual. I rarely say that. <laughs> I usually come on here and I give my objective opinion. I don't care if y'all call me biased. Someone that has willingly opened up about sleeping with a minor. Someone who willingly targets young adults to minors. I hope the worst in life happens to you. And th that's me. If y'all tell me I'm putting out negativity, that's perfectly fine. I rarely come on here and be negative. But when it comes to situations like this, I don't want you to prosper. I'm not praying on your downfall, baby. I want to be a part of it. It's just me. I don't believe you deserve to prosper if you are purposely harming young people. 
But yes, definitely drop your opinions down below before I continue to rant on how you don't deserve nothing in life. But yes, I'll see you guys next time. Woo! And this week's third eye tier subscribers are Terrell M and Garrick H. Your continued support is greatly appreciated and thank you everyone who supports the channel. And this week's live stream will be a virtual hangout because I will be traveling back to Houston to see Beyonce. Beyonce, bitch, Beyonce. But yes, I'll see you guys there and thank you once again for supporting the channel.